Angie from TheSquishyMonster.com and today I wanted to profess my undying love for eggs. Whether they be for pastries or something savory, they are so versatile that I love them. They're quick, easy, and filling. And today's dish, dish is another example of that. It is so yummy, but so creamy and decadent, and it takes no time at all. And I hope it becomes a staple in your household like it is in mine. The first thing I want to do is heat up my stock. So I'm using some Korean earthenware, and I have some leftover stock when me and my mama made the teriyaki, teriyaki rice cakes. <laughs> I can't speak today. So I want to put this over the stove top and let it heat up. And to my bowl here, I'm going to concentrate on my eggs. So I'm going to crack in some organic eggs. Because this is, you know, just very simple with just a few ingredients, you want to use the best, highest quality ingredients that you can get your hands on. And I like to crack my eggs in the bowl first, just so if any shell slips out, you can, you know, fish it out and you don't have to throw everything else away because you've added all the other ingredients. And to that, I want to whisk it together, break up those yolks, and stream in some cream. This is really going to make it really lux luxurious and soft and fluffy. And then I want to flavor it with just a little bit of salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. And continue to whisk. The more you whisk and the more you aerate it, the fluffier it'll be. And then I'm going to add in a combination of veggies that I had laying around in my refrigerator. And you can use whatever you would like. But I have some green onions, some carrots, and some um, peppers. So you can use some, you can even fold in some kale if you'd like. Whatever is on sale, whatever you like. So I'm going to slip all those right in. And they're itty bitty, so they cook evenly. Slide all right in there. And I like the heat, so I'm leaving the seeds in. And then continue to whisk, and I'm just gonna have to wait for my stock, and we're ready to go. When your stock begins to bubble and boil away, you can then stream in your egg. And I'm still whisking, and slip it right into the hot stock. And just like you would with an omelet, you want to kind of scramble it in the center just to ensure that it gets that really nice fluffy consistency and texture. For the first minute or so, you just want to kind of make sure it's all a homogenous mixture. Everything's mixed together nicely between the layers of that stock and the egg. So just give it a little mix. You don't have to do it for too long. And then the next step is very easy. You just clamp on the lid and you walk away and after a few minutes you'll have a nicely hot steamed fluffy egg. So it's been about four to five minutes and let's take a peek. Look at that, the steam is rising, the whole thing is really puffed up and I love that you can see the little flecks of veggies in there. I think I'm going to turn this off and I think I'm ready to eat. I just love dishes that provide such simple sustenance like this so I'm going to go in for a try to see how it tastes. <laughs> but it smells really good. Mm. It basically melts in your mouth. It is so fluffy and almost creamy. However way you like your eggs, definitely give this a try because it really elevates it. It's steamed through with all the veggies. They're perfectly cooked. Get that really nice flavor boost from the stock with the different dimensions of the flavor. That creamy, luxurious egg comes in. It is so yummy. I hope you guys give it a try. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me. This is Angie from TheSquishyMonster.com and I'll see you guys